Hey everyone, I'm back with a uh, computer video. Haven't done one uh, about computers. Well, at least not about these uh, generic servers, right? For about seven years. So my first computer show and tell in about seven years. Um, so this is just a, a video to show an idea. Um, if you wanted to run your own home lab, what could you put it on, right? Well, a lot of people buy a rack. I don't want to buy a rack. I don't want to have to deal with uh, racking anything. I don't want rack servers. So if you're like me and you just want to use PCs you have laying around, right? I got plenty of PCs laying around. Those three in the bottom are not even in use. Uh, I think they got old stuff in there. Probably uh, very slow and uh, not something you'd be probably going to want um, now that uh, CPUs are pretty cheap. But um, so let's just go over quickly what the, my home network does here. This is my home lab. Doesn't have everything here. I mean, I got stuff in the um, the, the closet for uh, where the internet comes in, right? The DMARC location. So what do we got coming in here? So we got a 10 gig switch up top, comes in via copper, right? RJ45. Um, this switch is no longer, I don't think, I think you, I think Ubiquity is gonna get rid of this switch. So, you know, if you own this switch like I do, like I have, um, I'm thinking already right about plan B uh, in a year or two, I might just need to buy a, a separate um, SFP switch with a, with a separate um, access switch with uh, 10 gig on it so that I could uh, tie it to the, um, the SFP uh, switch. But um, basically the internet, well, not the internet, the, um, the connection to the uh, core router, core uh, switch, comes up to this location. I'm in the, uh, the hot attic, and I don't recommend you put it on, in the attic unless you can turn on the AC in the attic, right? So I have a finished space here, I can do that. So everything comes up here. Um, speaking about the fiber, I'm only using fiber because I had uh, a good deal um, on these transceivers. If I didn't have a good, uh, if I couldn't, if I did not have a bunch of them hand, handy, I would probably go to uh, copper DAC cables. All right, so everything comes up here into that top switch, gets fed down uh, with two connections to the uh, bottom switch, uh, and then I have some, um, as you can see, some cables sneaking back there. So what I got here? Well, first thing is um, got storage. Uh, everybody knows these things, right? These uh, you have videos all over the place about Synology. So I got two uh, backup drives right so these four drives they back some of the stuff back up here and some in the other one um what do we got up here we got um old storage so that one is from 2010 2011 so about 10 11 years old so it's end of life um i have some spare hard drives in there but they're really too small to hold anything um i was thinking about using it to hold my um scratch drives on on my pcs in the house but uh really just not enough drive space in there so i'm hesitant to buy drives for it because it is uh, 10 years old i used it for five years before retiring it and so it has some wear and tear on it already and the fans are pretty dusty so i'm hesitant to use it also because it's end of life you might not want to use the uh an old synology because it's going to be susceptible to vulnerabilities right so you always have to worry about that also. So if I put stuff in there, I'm gonna have to back that up somewhere and I'm not quite sure I wanna do that because the uh, the connection is pretty slow on it. And I wouldn't know where to back it up to. I might have to do scripts just to back it up manually via Windows or something and I, I don't wanna do that. So hesitant to use that. Okay, what else we got around here? Um, well, here's my keyboard and monitor there. there. All right, so I got three boxes here, UPS, supports the entire rack except for these items here which there's a separate power um ups behind on the floor so i got my uh security camera server here it's on its own vlan separated from everything else uh, all the security cameras cannot go anywhere except for um ntp to get the uh and dns DNS to find where the NTP servers are and the NTP to get the time for the cameras. But that's about it. Everything else is locked down. You can't get out of that subnet. And this security camera is in the same subnet to uh, capture the, the footage. We got uh, a VMware server. This middle one is the VMware server. So I'm using, this is my white box. I'm running VMware 
ESX uh, 7 uh, update 2. I didn't go to update 3 because I'm worried about my old fiber card, uh, not fiber, yeah, my um, old Ethernet card. It's a uh, Connect X3. Um, I'm worried that it's going to get deprecated from their driver list, right? So if it gets deprecated, I do an upgrade, then I, my, my card will be dead. And I have plenty of those Connect X3s. I don't want to use any other card. So I'm staying on two for now until I can find time to create a um, test box. Maybe down here, one of these, because these three are not in use. Maybe I'll use one of those to test update three, right? ESX version seven update three to see if, um, if that uh, kills the driver. All right, so this is my VMware box. Um, I run Pyho. DNS and uh, a music server. That's what I run on here. And then on here, this is um, my free NAS or true NAS box. It was mainly uh, a play thing, something to just try out and see if um, I could convert over from Synology. Uh, in the end, I did not. And in the end, I went with this instead because it's um, much more easier to manage. It has um, Backup software, has DNS software, has all sorts of stuff, right? And I also run DNS here too, um, as a backup, as a slave. So my, my VM is my primary DNS, and um, this Synology is one of my slaves. I have another slave running in another room, which is the primary DNS for, for all my PCs. So there's three DNS servers, uh, two slaves and one primary. I also have another slave that's the virtual on this box, but it's turned off. And mainly just so I, I I don't have to have so many things turned on at once. Uh, but yeah, so this is a TrueNAS box. You know, if you don't know TrueNAS, haven't played with it, go ahead and build one. It's fun. Um, but I'm pretty much done playing with it. Um, I used to use this to hold some of my backup data to always have more than one copy. But um, I'm getting lazy. Um, I have this copy. I have the backup copy. And I have another copy synced uh, in snapshots in another place in the house. So I think I have enough copies. I, I don't need to put it on here. So this one is turned off. This TrueNAS server is turned off. Um, I might pillage those hard drives. I'm not sure yet. There's hard drives in there. And that's my home lab. And let me go to the back just to show you the cabling. Here's where I do the console. I'm using a uh, an HDMI switcher to um, switch the um the outputs from the back of the other PCs. And I'm using a um, IOmega, IO gear, not IOmega, IO gear, KBM switch just to uh, switch the keyboard and mouse. Um, back here, it's a little bit of a mess, but who cares? It's just a home lab. I'm not uh, gonna be moving the wires much. In fact, I probably touch this area here maybe once every five, six months at, at most. I don't mean I don't mean go back here and touch anything. So, you know, it's not like I'm gonna move cables around and things of that nature. But uh, yeah, uh, again, I, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't use the fiber. I would use DAC cables, copper DAC cables. But again, I had the, those transceivers. I think I bought them at $7 a piece. And um, since I had so many lying around, I figured I'd just buy the, the fiber cables and, and just go that route. So that's what I did. Here you can see here I mounted the, well not really mounted, the zip tied kind of uh, Velcro the uh, power strips here. And then uh, there's the UPS for the, um, is a dedicated UPS just for the uh, Synology above. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review of my home lab. Take care. See you soon.